Okay, so you need to add cloth folds to your character. Not a problem. Now the way I do it is with a cloth fold brush. But you can also use Blender's cloth physics or the cloth physics in ZBrush to get a similar effect. But with a brush, you just have a little bit more control over exactly where things go. To use it, you just open up the brush, go into a high subdivision, set your intensity, and start dragging the folds where you need them. Try and put them around the areas you would expect the clothing to bend, and you just do that for all the different parts. Now this is one of those things that I think it's really important to not get too hung up on. Use some basic reference images to help you get an idea where folds normally go, but don't worry about making things perfect. Slap some stuff on, if it doesn't look right, control Z. I just have a general idea that, okay, when gloves bend, you're usually gonna have some tension folds around where the finger joints are, and you kinda just wing it from there. We're doing it for the skirt, the gloves, the collar, the hat, and we're done. If you join me next time, we're just going to make a final check and make sure that the inside of the mouth and eyes are okay before we export everything to Blender for UV mapping. Hope that helps, and as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.